What's going on guys? So I'm back at the IS300. Right now I'm tackling a little bit of an issue. My coolant ports here that's on the twin turbo setup of the engine, this was the feed for each one of the turbos. And I don't have that anymore. I have this oil cooled turbo, but I do need a coolant feed going into my wastegate because my wastegate is coolant cooled. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that little port that's down there that comes directly off the water pump because that used to go to the throttle body and my throttle body doesn't have liquid cooling on it. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm actually going to be pulling these out, which is basically just going to involve clamping onto here, wiggling it enough to where they eventually come off. And I'm gonna take them off while they're, while it's bolted into the engine, because that's basically got it held like a, like a vice would be holding it. After they're out, then unbolt it from the engine, run my drill bit through it, and then run the quarter inch NPT tap through because that's the plugs that I have, and that's a fairly common quarter inch NPT size. This will be clear, and I'll be able to run a hose coming off of this little 45 degree silicone coupler. These two old coolant feeds will be out of the way. We won't have to worry about them anymore. They'll be plugged, and yeah, and then I, if I want to, I can put a 1 8 NPT fitting inside of it in the future, and then run it to whatever I need coolant feed going into. If I get a turbo that has a coolant feed going into it, then yeah, I'll probably end up doing that. Now my NPT tap, this is a spiral flute tap. They're really expensive. I had to use it for something else where I had to tap into something without getting any metal shavings inside. So I used it for that. And then I've basically just had it sitting uh, because I, I only needed it for that. But that's what the spiral flute tap is for. You don't have to use a spiral flute tap. You could buy a normal quarter inch NPT. Um, the one I'm using is quarter inch by 18. NPT. So I'm going to start pulling this off. So I'm going to set up my tripod and start uh, clamping onto this and then pulling that off. Let's get to work pulling those little nipples out. Took the bumper off because I didn't want to be like leaning on the bumper. I wanted to be closer to this so I could pull up instead of leaning over the car. Clamping the vice grips on and then wiggling it up and down. So as you can see, this is getting easier and easier and easier to move. Like the more, like initially it was hard to clamp the vice grips onto it and then move it up and down. It was almost impossible to move. But once it starts moving, the more times you move it up and down, the easier it is to move. And once it starts getting loose enough with the vice grips as I'm moving the nipple up and down, I take my screwdriver with some cardboard between it and my powder coated coolant neck and I'm prying as I'm moving the vice grips and spinning the nipple um, up and down, up and down. The prying motion ends up sliding the nipple out with minimal damage to the powder coating coat that's on the upper coolant neck. So I have the first one out and now I'm just going to time lapse the removal of the second one. So I have my coolant neck out and if you're wondering what these sensors, sensors are, this is a coolant pressure sensor and coolant temperature sensor. I had to tap this for um, eighth inch MPT. So I'm obviously removing the sensors from this. They've already been, I just basically had them in place just to mock up everything, but removing the sensor, removing my little eighth inch MPT elbow and my coolant temperature sensor. So get those there and get those out of the way since I don't want to get aluminum shavings on those. And now looking at these nipples, I've completely and utterly destroyed them. They're not able to be used anymore to form any kind of a seal, but that doesn't matter because uh, this is going to be tapped. So these, when I mic'd this before, it was 0.4 inches. So this is 0.4 inches. This hole, in order for me to tap it to quarter inch MPT, needs to be 0.44 inches, which is close to 7 16 So I have my 7 16 drill bit. Now a couple of things that I'm doing wrong here, I'm gonna get all my materials out. So this is my regular drill, a little corded drill, a little Ryobi cheap $20 drill. Preferably, I'd like to do this with a vise and a drill press, but I don't have those things right now. Plus, I don't want to clamp this because it's cast aluminum and I just, it's powder coated. I don't want to damage it. So I'm going to trust my hands holding it while I'm drilling into it with my corded drill. That's thing that I'm not doing properly, number one. The thing that I'm not doing properly, number two, is my tap that I have here. All my taps are smaller than this. This is the largest tap that I have. This one in the 716th tap. So I don't have the back of this 
an 11 millimeter wrench fits on this, but I'm not using that. I'm actually using my crescent wrench. So I'm just gonna do this very carefully. I've, I've tapped a lot of things and I, yeah, I, I, I'm confident in my ability to do this with a crescent wrench, but it's not advised to do that. So those are the things that I'm doing wrong while I'm drilling and tapping this, but I should still come out with good results. This is my quarter inch MPT plug that I will be putting into uh, this neck. And I, I have another one of these somewhere. I don't know where it's at. So just for now, I'm just gonna put this quarter inch NPT to 4AN elbow fitting in it just until I find where the other plug is. But basically I'm gonna tap this to where the plug goes flush all the way to the top of this neck. And then try to touch up with some little touch up paint where I've messed up the and nicked the, the powder coating while I was while I was prying on this. I'm gonna start drilling through this. So I'm gonna get my stuff out of the way that I want to stay clean. And I'm just gonna go through this as carefully as I can. And that's it. It's been drilled out to 7 sixteenths, and now it's ready to accept the tap. Now the, the sides of this are pretty close. It's aluminum. I don't want to break it off, so I'm, I'm going to go in a little bit and then back it out, turn it a little bit more and then back it out and just keep going like that. Get yourself some good thread cutting oil. Don't just use whatever oil is lying around and definitely don't use motor oil. So it looks like I need to go about four threads deeper. There we go. Sits kind of flush. A little Teflon tape in there. It should sit flush with the top of the coolant neck. Now to tap the other one. Cleaning with alcohol, just to get all the oil off. And just like that, it's clean and it's ready to go back on. I rinsed all the oil off with alcohol, ran my blue shop towels through it. Yeah, it's ready to go. This is it, this is the completed project. This is the quarter inch MPT by Dash 4AN, and this is the one that is plugged. You can't really tell, but since I tapped it by hand, this is at a slight angle. Doesn't matter, as long as the plug sits in, the, it sits in there straight, it's still going to seal. It's just the hole itself that's crooked. Just matters aesthetically. As you can see, it's just barely touching. I have my 45 degree silicone coupler. Uh, four inch you know, just for the intake. The air filter is going to be down here, obviously. That you know, goes without saying. But I had to cut off an inch and a half of this because it obviously can't go straight because even with the 45 degree bend, um, with that extra inch and a half that I cut off, it's probably closer to two inches because it's I cut off a little over an inch and then I cut off two other sections of quarter inch just to get it um, to where it's the way that it is. This is just barely touching. So the engine vibration, might I might shave a little more off of it so that it, it's a little closer to the turbo. It's not uh, pressing in at all, it's just bumping it. So engine vibration might wear through the intake. And this, I still haven't found my other quarter inch MPT plug that's gonna go in there, but but yeah, that's so that's how it fits, that's how it looks. But anyway, uh, so this is it, start to finish, drilling, tapping, and everything that I needed to do in order to put the plug into this and then make it clear the turbo. But I'm pretty proud of the outcome. Uh, leave a comment down below on how you guys have tackled similar issues or how you're planning on tackling a similar issue, what you've tried to do, what you've tried to do that's failed. Um, obviously, I didn't change out the water neck to one of the other closer water necks. I didn't want to pay for like the Rad Industries one or, or one of those that's a more compact one that goes off to like an AN fitting or whatever. Those do exist, they make it easier. So you can mount a turbo like this but if you want to use the the factory original oem uh, upper coolant neck let me know what you guys think 
If you agree, if you disagree, if you think it looks horrible, obviously you don't think it looks horrible because it looks really cool, especially with the powder coat. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and as always, God bless you guys.